Hey guys, this is Ben WI4 with another episode of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, and we're still on Nimbus Line. So I'm gonna come in here now. And this is Garo's house. Hi, I'm the sculptor Garo. I used to make a lot of sessions with King Nimbus, but now all I get are orders for sculptures of Valentina. And you have to talk to this statue. Hey, look, it's me! Oh, you mean that? That's King Nimbus when he was a young lad. Huh? What the? Who are you? Hello, my name is Mala. And this is my friend Maria. Mala, so it is you, my boy. It's been so long. Bye, you've become a splendid young prince. What? I, I'm really a prince? And so Mario tells the story. That we heard so many parts ago. A splendid rendition, really. Yes, indeed, I understand. So, you were raised by Frog Fuchsius. There's no question about it, you are, without a doubt, Prince Mala. Mario, look at me, I'm a prince. I knew Valentina was up to something, I just didn't know what. That must mean that the king really isn't gravely ill. Let's go inside the castle and save my mother and father. Oh, silly Mala. Hey, who are you? You can't just barge in here. I have an excellent idea. Come over here. Are you ready? Yes. Alright, stand over here. Hold still, okay? This is fantastic. Hey, this gold. There. Hey, don't move. You're going to be a statue for a while, okay? Let's get going now. I'm delivering Valentina's lady sword to her. You may enter. Halt! Who goes there? Bad. Hey, this doesn't look like Valentina at all. Oh, that's because this is a statue of Valentina's nephew, Mari Mariada, okay? Uh, okay, proceed. Really? Phew, that was close. Didn't think we could get through that one. There is no such person named Mariada. Ha! Oh, ho, ho, ho. You can always hear Valentina laughing in here. Oh, now this is lovely. My beauty simply shines forth like the sun. Only you can make something this stunning. Thank you, your majesty. I'll be on my way now. Halt! What may I ask is this ugly thing? That's my latest masterpiece. I, I created it just for you. It's called... A Plumber's Lament. Observe the thick mustache covering the sad innocent smile of a simple fool. And the sideburns conveying his blue collar roots. The legs, well defined, strong, the legs of the masses. Is it to your liking? Hmm. I consider myself something of an art buff, and I've got to say, this is spectacular. Garo, only you could have created sculptures with such gentle beauty and raw power. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll be on my way now. Spectacular! Dodo! Dodo! Don't just sit there like a rose, turn and carry these in. Dodo! Step on it. Pent up rage. And his rage is the source of a lovely accessory that, with any luck, I'll get in a minute here. save after picking up the treasure chest that's around here somewhere. Now I'll get it later. It's easier to pick them up after you finish this area when there are monsters everywhere. 
So you try to leave. Dodo! Did you display the statues properly? Fine, now polish them to a fine luster and make them a tribute to my beauty. Pay attention to me. Hurry up, and don't let me catch you dozing again. So Mario has to run back. Uh oh, Dodo's in a pretty bad mood. Keep, your, keep up your statue disguise and jump to avoid getting packed. Get ready, because he's coming this way. It'll try to fake you out from time to time, but mostly this is pretty easy. I like the music, though. I just figured that he doesn't actually peck you there. But if you jump when you shouldn't. See him back there, and jump. So, since I didn't get pecked, there's a feather right here. Which is an alright accessory, but nothing better than what I already have. It's basically a better version of the zoom shoes. So save since I like to have everything. And now I have to fight Dodo one last time, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm absolutely exhausted. And since I still look like a statue, I can just stand here. I hate being a guard. Valentina only gives us the most boring jobs to do. But I guess this beats Dodo's job. Dodo has to polish Valentina's statues every single day. Ha, <laughs> here's how I'd do it. Then you start poking Mario, and you just can't take it anymore. Hey, tell me something. Do statues move? No, statues don't move. Then, explain this. It's one of those high-tech or lifelike realistic ones. Let's get out of here. And they just leave. So, there's a lot in this place. Lots of treasures, lots of annoying, annoying enemies. Joffle's sleeping. Joffle's that guy. The only real new enemy here is the Jawfall. Everyone else is the same as an old enemy. I feel like jumping. Okay, not bad. And now Jawfall's away. He's slightly stronger than the other guys. But not bad. So it seems to start being a lot weak than everyone, weaker than everyone else. And we decided that this was HP, I think. So, I tried to run there, but you can't actually get any further because there's a fan down there. some new enemies, pinwheels and buckles. The buckles are like those jellyfish that killed me before. And the pinwheels are just like the ones in Monster Mama's house except they're not performed. So I feel like trying to get everyone out nice and quick. But it didn't quite work out. So let's see how the rare scar protects Toadstool. She takes a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. Not nearly as much as Mario. And let's see Mario's new weapon, finally. He just has giant hands now. If you 
jump on top of this treasure box. Wrong room. Never mind. There's a flower in there, though. And I'm just... We've seen these guys already. And I can't seem to run away. When you can't run away, call on the sheep. I like the better sheep. Except he's just too big. But he's fun to beat on anyway. Plus he's absolutely great for practicing super jumps. Because he doesn't move a whole lot. So, here's the fan that was uh, blowing me away before. That's how I sped up for a second there. And let's just go through this way. More fans. And they're easy to take out at least. Another fake statue. I think this is the room with hidden treasure. This is the first time we see these guys as an enemy rather than someone who's selling us stuff. And they should just stick to selling us stuff because they're clearly not very strong. treasure I tend to get now, you can run back here and get a frog coin. But chances are you'll end up having to fight this guy. And Melo reached level 16, which means both Mario and... Well, no, not quite yet. But everyone else will too. I used to be a guard here until Valentina snatched away all my keys and gave me the boot. Guess I won't be needing this master key anymore. Would you like it? I uh hide. -huh, yeah. Alright, here you go. Just don't tell me what you're gonna do with it, okay? Go on, take this. And you get a flower jar, which I really should have used. Um, I don't think you get any more, but I'll go ahead and use one of my flower jars just in case. A dip in the hot springs would perk up the king in the jiffy. Hey, did you know? Valentina's got a huge egg in the middle room. It spits out eggs from time to time, and sometimes when you shield yourself, the eggs will ricochet off of you. You want to remember that. Did you know that there are hot springs around here? Uh, yeah, I kind of gathered that. Aw, oh, you know, fun. I wanted to be the first to tell you that. <laughs> but since I talked to her last, she didn't get to. I ran right into that guy. I'll cut this battle. And Mario reaches level 16. HP. Gina also reached level 16. And I'm running out of time, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. If you like my videos so far, subscribe because there's more on the way. This is Ben Guy 4, and I will see you guys next time.